Ay, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Just yeah. be truthful with yourself, you know you ain't messing with form. Hey, making every quarterback look like they got a arm. And the defense got it covered like State Farm. Hey, thought he had the power, no. Beat him by a 50 piece. Use a skill, watch him beat. That's another picky D. Doing everybody bad. Boy, you getting victimized. And know them ain't no juke moves. You just get stick alive. The game ain't even started yet, but you already shook. Got some mad librarian, now watch him throw a book. Wow. Cap it like new era, boy, you tripping. What he thought he on? Big dog status, you a pup. Sorry, doggy bone. Ayy, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Be truthful with yourself, you know you ain't messing with form. Hey, making every quarterback look like they got an arm. And the defense got it covered like stay bomb. Hey, hey, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. What's happening, doggy bone, man? Unk got y'all back, man. We, we, Hey, look, for all my mutt heads, man, head over to utnights.com, bro, and use code FORM for 6% off all your mutt coin needs, man. It's simple. Go ahead over there, click on how many coins you want, bro, 200 coins for $11. Hit that pay now, slide over there and use code FORM, and get your muck coins on, doggy bone. Stop being broke out here, man, and build the God squad that you deserve. The God squad Jesus wants you to have, man. Again, utnights.com for all of your muck coin needs, man. Use code form and help me get this little Skrilla, man. Yeah, what happening, doggy bone man? Smash the like button. I got another banger for y'all, bro. Against a Facebook streamer. If y'all been around the channel, man, y'all y'all probably know about this Facebook streamer. We've played quite a few times. You know what I'm saying? I am undefeated against Facebook streamers, but we'll get into the more of that in the video. A lot of y'all been asking to see my mutt squad, so here it is. We at 87 overall. I finally got that Meek Vic, that Mikey Alvic. You know what I'm saying? Wide receivers are looking good, man. Uh, O-line is, is is hella decent. I need to sure up this right side. We got Jeremy Shockey at t uh, tight end. I'm also looking to sure up Joe Mixon also at running back. Uh, maybe get the bettest. You know what I'm saying? Or something. On defense is where I, or I enjoy the most. Lester Hayes uh, and Chris McAllister. I'm probably going to end up getting rid of Chris. I'm not sure yet, though. Uh, Woolen as the user, big boys Derek Brown and Neil Farrow in the middle. Uh, on the edge, I got Derek Johnson and Micah Parsons, and then I got Holland and Rod playing uh, at the safety positions. Remember, I run nickel wide nine. This defense is set just for nickel wide nine. The defense is looking good. The offense is looking good. Uh, team, no money spent. Y'all know what it is. Hashtag no money spent in the comments. Hope you boys enjoyed this video, man. And let's get to this other banger for y'all, bro. Let's get to it. What happening, doggy bone, man? We back. And we got a nice little banger for y'all. Uh, had a hell game with EA Sports and uh, Facebook streamer 7 Day Gaming. If y'all know, uh, if y'all were around Man 21, uh, dude used to pop shit about me uh, when we used to get matched up. I'm like 5-0 and against Dog, but like 3 and was really good games, bro. So, uh, we got, he switched over to Mutt. I'm on Mutt. We matched up last year in uh, Weekend League. That one's on my channel. All the ones on Regs is on my channel. And uh, hopefully we can get y'all something good. You know what I'm saying? Like, low-key, bro, I'm as undefeated against Facebook streamers. You know what I'm saying? So, that's why when y'all be asking me to play the same people over and over, I... Unk be getting annoyed. I didn't play every every Facebook streamer you can name. I've played. I played Shot by Buddha last year. I won. Uh, Y'all know I didn't beat Chibata twice. I'm one and zero against Taddy. I'm five and zero against uh this dude. Not including this game because I don't want to give it away. Mickey D, shut your mouth. And we taking it to the crazy hip. Um, shout out our boy Senior. He killing shit on Facebook. I want to say I'm 2-0 and against dog. Weeks gaming. Like, I didn't play everybody, bro. I didn't play everybody on the Facebook. I didn't play everybody on the YouTube. And if I ain't played them, I tried to. 
I didn't play 90% of all the pros that y'all. What else y'all want from Unk? Just, just, just sub to the content, bro. And no, if you go check my history, I didn't play anybody. Come on, now. Nah. My resume is crazy on the YouTube. And it's like, bro, all I got is 20K subs. Like, and I didn't play it there, damn body. Y'all ain't saved nothing for later on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nothing for Unk to do later on as he grow. You know what I'm saying? Y'all had a nigga play everybody. You know how many times my channel could have died if it was up to you disgusting individuals, man? Huh? That should have been a picky D. You know how many times my channel would have died, bro? Because all the people y'all that hate had me play early, that why I don't listen to y'all no more. I'm just, I just be doing me, man, on the game. I just be doing me now. Because y'all be trying to kill niggas' channels, man. Y'all be trying to get niggas destroyed. For real, man. That That's my advice to all the up-and-coming YouTubers. Don't listen to your subscribers, bro. Because to keep it a buck, Sacaroni and Cheese. To keep it a buck, they literally trying to get your channel knocked off. Like, they, they want you to play everybody. And if you beat one person, it here come another one. Here come a, they going to keep lining them up. And then once you once they find out what level you can't compete at, they going to stop rocking with you, bro. That what they tried to do to me. Shut your mouth. Can't convince me of nothing else. Y'all, y'all, boy, y'all, y'all low-key been hating on Unk, huh? Ooh, boy, I made it through a gauntlet, though. I've made it through a, a, a YouTube gauntlet of individuals, man. For real. By the grace. By the grace of the man upstairs, we made it, man. Because y'all cause was trying to get Unk up out of here. For real, for real. That junk kind of crazy. But coming out here, uh, we, 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 I'm, I'm literally, for real, for real, I'm just trying to get a blowout and get up out of here. Because of late, the last couple days, yes, Unk been winning, but I ain't been playing well. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm eking out wins. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of y'all like to think, like, I'm not a pro player. I'm not a comp player. I'm a regular nigga who get down on a Madonna. I like the the, the for y'all who watching this video, y'all play just as much Madden. Y'all probably play more than I do. I play when I'm recording, and then when I want to try to work on a scheme or I want to just play some weekend league. I don't like if, I, if I'm 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 weekend league. I don't even play all pro. I don't play regs. I'm rarely playing any head to head seasons unless I'm labbing. You know what I'm saying? I'm literally playing. I'm not playing a shit ton of my dime, bro. Like, to keep it a bean with y'all, y'all probably, I don't know when y'all gonna get this video, but I'm recording it on a uh, Monday. Um, I, Like, y'all play y'all play more Madden than me, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, the fact that y'all be trying to get me to run through this crazy gauntlet of dudes is crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not no, I'm not, and I'm not, that's the thing. I'm not even looking to be a pro player, bro. I'm just looking to play the Madon. Let me play the Madon. I'm trying to create some viral content out here, and I can't. Because y'all, y'all be putting a nigga through the extra gauntlet of a million different niggas to play. And that's what's, I want, I want some Eli Mac type content, man. I want a thousand, a hundred thousand views on the video, bro. So, coming out right here, man, I man up the tight end because I, I know he's going to start looking corner route. But, and then, uh, once I see the angle route coming out the backfield, I'm like, curl flat. Some sort of curl flat. Because that's the only route I know where it has the angle route out the backfield. And any trips formation this year can be tricky because my adjustments are so much different than what they were last year to play trips. Completely different. You know what I'm saying? Just because how the game plays has changed so much. Look how I go in and out of just, like, teaching the game and chilling, man. But right here again, uh, I'm manning up. My responsibility is dog right here, and I got to try to get back middle for the angle route. You know what I'm saying? Which I'm not too concerned about being able to do because his route combos don't really scare me like that. The thing with Madden, though, is stops come 
like crazy ass. Oh my God, that was nasty. That was, I read it like a book, bro. For y'all who don't know, you can easily tell when the screen is coming. Watch how they bunch up. The moment I see they linemen bunch up like this, not not even before here. Let me let me back it up a little bit. I see the guard pull. I see the uh the guard pull. Watch how he pull. And soon as I recognize, soon as I recognize this nigga not doing shit, I'm sending the heaters, and then I'm gonna start noticing 63 and them start to pull around. So you'll see me. I'm running to the middle of the field. And then the moment I notice them start to pull is when I start to recognize it here, but I haven't fully committed. And then watch how they start to pull. The moment he pull, I duck. The moment he pull, I duck. The moment I see any bunchy unchy up and up, you know what I'm saying? I, I, that's why I don't run screenplays because I figure everybody can see them coming from a mile away like I be seeing them. So they scare the hell out of me to run, bro. That's why I don't understand how people be getting killed on screenplays, bro. I be I pick six the heck out of me some screenplays, man. I be on them jumps. For real. All right, so coming back out, I see he's in the off trio. I'm like, not too concerned about it, bro. Let's see what he run first play, and then I'll make how I feel about it. Right there should have been another book. I guess it was a half a second off, man. That's all. But yeah, man, I like, be, like, like just playing so many competitive games all the time, bro. Like, you ain't finna go viral off that shit, bro. Because those words don't really count in the YouTube algorithm. Check out my videos, chat. If you look at my 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 chaos game, uh, my civil game, like my comp games are some of the lowest view videos I have on Madden 23. You know what I'm saying? And that's telling, bro. Now, I'm going to keep playing them because I love playing comp. But, boy, I ain't finna get no 100,000 view video listening to y'all. Dweebs. Like, I'm figuring out the algorithm. That way I can get into it my way, how I do things. But it's a process, bro. For real, for real. Because I, I don't have a video over, like, my highest view video is the Chibata video. And the only reason that got 30,000 views is because Chibata ended up blowing up crazy. And he became highly searched in the YouTube algorithm. And because I had two games with him, those boys took off in the algorithm months after I played them. Like prior to playing them, them views didn't have no, them, them videos didn't have no views. So right here, uh, we got, we low key got bailed out. Um, I didn't man up the tight end, which I should have. And we, we 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 got bailed out. That should have been a tub for dog. But yeah, bro, that's that's more so the thing with me and and my YouTube journey is my like just not even YouTube, just life in general. I've never had no shit pop off to for me like no real big thing happen for me. And then I'm like, yo, let's go. We let everything in life and me for general been a grind. You know what I'm saying? Grinding towards getting here. Grinding towards getting there, then I take a real crazy nasty L and have to start back over. So I don't have that mindset of like, yeah, one of these videos gonna pop off and I'm gonna be lit. I just never had that thought process. For me, it's always been just grind, put your head down and grind, and then you know what I'm saying it'll pay off. But then look over your shoulder because a nasty ass L coming. Which I got to get out the L mind state. And I feel like that's the best way for a lot of you YouTubers to be, man. Put your head down the grind and stop looking for that viral hit, man. All right, so coming back out. This is where EA says, all right, relax, nigga. Let us get involved a little bit on this. So I run the ball first down. I pick up uh seven yards. Uh, If you come out in dollar, and in low key, there's a patch coming uh, in about a week or two. And I feel like they're going to address defensive issues. Because if you just pitch your line in dollar, you'll bag the run. Which is low-key kind of wild. Um, but yeah, EA was like, you're doing too much, big dog. Let us even the skull. Because the way this game looking, you're going to run away. And you know we can't have that. So right here, I come out for the motion dot. Low-key, hindsight 2020, I should have had another dot on the field. And that shit happens. 
Like if you look at that play, he's 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 getting blocked. He's in a blocking animation and then releases and grab the damn fool's ball. Right there, he he did he he got dirty on the juke. He got dirty, which was my fault because I pass committed. For y'all who don't know, if you pass commit, you have sub linebackers on the field. You will get weak box. Your guys, everybody will move a lot slower. So that was my fault for pass committing right there. All right, so com just coming back out, I'm like, he didn't pinch, you know what I'm saying, to stop the run, and you'll see it. It goes crazy. Just something simple like pinching your line just goes crazy against stopping a run, which is low-key kind of wild. But we run the ball right there, pick up no yards because he's already, he's blitzing five. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not even about to try to do nothing crazy because I don't even want to give up another pick ED. I get the ball I have. Just let me go ahead and just do what I got to do and get the hell up out this game, bro. Um, one thing that I'm working on is just putting my running back more involved in the offense in general because I be blocking them a lot, but that shit, bro. You're going to get shedded regardless, you know what I'm saying, this year. So it's more so like, just let me put this nigga out on routes um, the, and then locate the user because the user is usually always running back side, especially in man blitzes because he has to guard the running back. He's sending six, you know what I'm saying, hovering in man. Everybody else is manned up but the running back, so the running back is the responsibility. So I need to do a better job of just putting my running back out there but it's like the game feel like Madden 20, bro. And I'm, I'm finna explain how. So right here, I come out in a 2-1-2 two, two set. Because I'm like, I want to see if I can weak box right here. And then uh, he he just he just sends everybody. Like, that's he, run, he, he basically ran spinner. But yeah, the reason I say this game this year is like Madden 20. Madden 20 because EA did something that maybe not a lot of people noticed. Maybe they did. They slowed down the release of the quarterback. And not only did they slow down the release of the quarter, like like that's not a that's not a good read. Um, I just thought I would have a step, you know what I'm saying? And it was just a nasty overthrow, but also a bad read on my part, you know what I'm saying? But um, they slowed down the release of the quarterback, and they sped up, like not probably didn't speed up, but the blitz speed is the same so when when you i don't know if y'all remember but three four i used to destroy uh madden 20 because you were guaranteed pressure and the qb release was so slow the ball didn't come out fast and that's what this year feels like the ball comes out slow as dog shit man even with throwing abilities the ball it's still like it's still kind of slow you're still gonna struggle to get that ball out you know what i'm saying i got mike vick and i still run into that issue but right here, he gets another juke, and I'm like, you know what? Just let me hold the three, bro. Because ever since that pick um, with Joey Bosa, momentum has changed. I made a bad read also, and I didn't let dog right back in the game. So at this point now, I'm just in like, let me stop the bleeding. You know what I'm saying? Let me stop the bleeding, uh, hold dog to three. And then go down here and get three and play D because I do not. I genuinely don't feel like he can score against me in my set defense. He has to run the ball and he has to quick hike me in order to move the ball. I don't feel like Dog can make a clean read and then and, and, and he gonna get busy. Like as you can see, quick hike, but not good reads. Like that's a flat. He threw at a flat. I like. I didn't receive. I didn't respond well as far as my zone play, but he threw right at a flat. So again, right here, I'm gonna send pressure and see what he do. He has not been sending his running back out in this formation. So I'm I, my thing is he probably won't send him out again. He does, and I don't get rewarded. Um, let me see if I if it showed it. I put him on a flat in at the last second. Because I felt like he would he would send them out even though he hadn't been. And then my job was to uh, drop back here, which is why you see me loop around. So I don't think I showed the adjustment, but right here I no right here I put dog on a flat or I damn yeah I want to say I put him on a flat and he just didn't do shit. He was chilling. He just was chilling. I can't remember if I put him on a flat or if I manned him up on a running back. 
I did one of the two, which is why I was looping back around to the slant route. But either way it go, it don't matter. We don't get nothing, so I might as well just shut up. We don't never get nothing on this game. Coming back out, I'm like, you know what? Let me see if he ran commit the last time and then see if I can catch him over top. He sends out five. I'm like, okay, he's flatting on that side. This lame nigga Ted sent me a party invite. What a loser. And I joined that. But right now, bro, I'm just, I'm just trying to cook up something, man, for real. Because this, like, for me personally, mentally, I don't be all the way checked in on the Madon, bro. Because I just don't like the way the game plays. I don't dislike the game. I don't like the game. You know what I'm saying? I'm just kind of like, it is what it is type shit. I like the game going to be what the game going to be. You know what I'm saying? It ain't really much I can do about it. Well, there's nothing I can do about it. So right here, I got a block seven just to pick up that rush. Uh, we throw a nice little laser with Mike Vick. Because if I don't block seven, my right tackle will dumb out as far as picking up that edge pressure. It's like because he's, he's out wide on the blitz and the speed of the corner, they'll just run right by, right by 58. It's like he does not see them. You know what I'm saying? Now, if somebody's sending six and hovering, I, I understand. Even if a nigga is sending seven, I understand. But when you sending four and five and my lineman can't recognize the blitz, some, it's, that's weird. But, you know what I'm saying, this is actually what Madden wanted for uh, Madden this year. We're going to discuss that in another video. So, coming back out, I'm like, all right, he didn't pinch his line, bro. I gotta, I have to be able to punish him for this, and I don't. As you see, um, I run into the back of my D tackle, I mean, of uh, my center, and, and that's it. That's it. This, for me, this is four down territory, because I have to get three here. You know what I'm saying? Just based off how the game is playing, I gotta get points. All right, so coming out right here, I know uh, what his adjustments are on that left side, so I'm just gonna... Streak him up the sideline, flat route, you know what I'm saying, corner route combo. And then I'm going to block seven and be like, yo, please do your damn job. Right here, boom. I go ahead and hit him. And and, and, I, and I got an animation that I wasn't liking. I got an animation that I was not liking at all, bro. Now, if you notice, bro, that's a five-man rush that I have to block seven to pick up. Right here, I just want to see what if he had QB sneak D, which he does. So I'm like, all right, cool. I know I can't kick from here. I want to kill more clock. Let me go ahead and just do what I need to do. I don't feel like dog can get seven on me. But I also feel like momentum is in his fa favor crazy. So right here, I'm like, all right, I'm going to go corner route. I'm going to smart the corner route so, I mean, it breaks off early. And let me know if, if, if I made the correct read. Would you have made this read right here? All right, so check it. Pete game, look. Now, when I made the throw, he had inside position. So I lead it over the top, bro. And, and the recovery speed just was insane right there. Like right there, everything else is covered. You know what I'm saying? Everything else is bad. But if you look, this is probably why I got to go back to free form. Like everybody been telling me. I, I got him stacked. So I throw it because it's, it's, that's an open read this year. And then when I put it up top, I'm just sad, bro, in my heart. I'm just sad in my heart, bro. So right here, I'm like, all right, bro, this dude can't score seven on me, man. All, that's all I got to do is just not give up seven. You know what I'm saying? He can't score seven. His best bet is to, if he can quick hike me, he got a shot. All right, so coming back out, I I, re, I remember he put him on a route last time. This time he goes play action, checks down to the flats. Rod Woodson bites on the play action and gets uh, dragged inside. And uh, he's able to hit the flats, even though it's only for about a yard or so. Right here, I know what dog want. It's the same thing he's been trying to do. Right here, they won't let me uh, pinch my guy. Like, they won't let me do shit. So, I had to run that raw dog. I felt like I maybe I was, like, probably I was there to get the pick, but you don't jump like last year. 
so I don't animate, which I'm not mad at, you know what I'm saying? Again, right here, he comes out in something else that I haven't seen, but like I said, I, I, my defense is set, and he goes draw play. I don't know if y'all know, the draw play is hella good this year, man. Like, like oddly good. So right here, I'm like, all right, now I got to be aware of a goddamn draw play, man. Then he runs, runs again. I blow that up in the backfield again. I'm not concerned about his ability to pass because I don't feel like he can really do it. And all of the 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 cut the, the two year the Madden 21, 22 in this year I've played him. He's a runner. He's a runner and he wants to play defense. Like that's his game. So right here, you're like, all right, bet. Let's play a little defense. Nigga hits me with a draw play. We blow it up this time. Now I'm watching the clock because it's like I don't personally feel like he should be chewing clock. Because you're you're doing a lot of running the ball as he takes a sack and his reads are bad. You know what I'm saying? His reads and route combos ain't really hitting. So him chewing clock, I, I'm like, that works more so in my favor. Because you're somebody who needs time to move the ball up the feet. So right here, I already know what I'm doing, bro. I'm, I'm manning up and I'm sending seven. You know what I'm saying? My responsibility is right there. I got I got man across the board. I got a third uh, outside third on that side, and nigga, do what you gonna do, and we get the sack. GG's in the chat. You know what I'm saying? Like I should have just I don't know why I ran the ball. I should have just came out and kneel off the rip. Don't even get dog a chance to get down on me. And by dog I mean EA Sports. Right here, he goes to the bot defense, overstoring Brave. Like, nigga, did I hate this defense, bro. It is so OP. All right, so right here, man, I just I just play it smart, man. Take the knee of death and get out of here with my dub, bro, because oh, man, to stress you out, boy. Right there, they didn't like let me ha hike the ball. For all y'all know, it's that little glitch, and the glitch is worse this year, where, like, sometimes you just can't pick a play. Like, I, hopefully that gets addressed in the uh, next patch. I'm not really thinking about what game players going to get. I just want them to just fix the small details in a game that drive me nuts. Not being able to pick a play, my user glitching out at the line of scrimmage, just stuff like that for me. And, and I'll be perfectly fine, bro. But we end up getting a dub right there, man. But appreciate y'all for rocking. Hope you enjoyed. Sub if you're new and say a prayer for Unk, man. Peace.